y'all, and welcome back. I'm Cecilia Tran. And I'm Krista Whitfield. And, and we're, we're your hosts host for Food for Thought, Nutrition, Nutrition for Your Noggin. In the first installment of our ADHD series, we showed you how to cook the quick and easy to make salmon patties, which are full of omega-3s. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a savory snack full of my friend, zinc. This is for all my kindred spirits out there, the potato chip lover. I don't know about you, but when I open a bag of chips, I can't eat just one. However, today we'll be making roasted chickpeas, which will satisfy your crunchies for the crunchies. Now chickpeas are a good source of zinc. In about one cup, you get 17% of your daily needs. But that's not all folks. Chickpeas are also a great source of fiber and protein, both of which help stave off hunger by making you feel satisfied for much longer. They're also high in folate and manganese and iron. So not only do these taste great, but they also provide way more health benefits and way less guilt than your average potato chip. So I already preheated my oven to 425 degrees. Now in this recipe, I definitely recommend using canned chickpeas because they're easier and faster to cook than dried. But if you only have dried on hand, you've got to soak and cook these before you roast them. If you're using the can, you'll need to drain and rinse them and then just pat them dry with paper towels or a kitchen towel, which we've already done here. For our recipe today, we'll just be seasoning them with some salt and garlic powder. But really, you can use any seasoning mix that you have on hand. Like if you're feeling real sassy, you can do cayenne pepper. If you're craving Mexican, you can do taco seasoning. Or if you're craving Indian, you can always do curry powder. It's just really whatever you're craving. So in this bowl, I'm gonna do one tablespoon of olive oil. Oh, hey, Omega-3s, I didn't know you were showing up today. Just kidding, I did. And then we'll do a teaspoon each of the garlic powder and the salt. Those are mixed. And we'll just give this a quick little whisk. All right, now we toss these bad boys in. and then toss them all up in that goodness. You want it to be evenly coated with that olive oil and that seasoning. Awesome. So here I've got my sheet pan. I've already sprayed it down. You can always use parchment paper if you want less dishes to do, which I should have done. And I'll just pour these on our sheet pan. Make sure they're just evenly spaced because you want them to cook evenly. We'll put these in the oven for about 30 to 35 minutes. Um, and halfway through, we'll just give it a shake and make sure nothing's burning. So let me get these into my oven. And while those are cooking, we'll go to Krista and let's think about some zinc. Thanks, Cecilia. So zinc is this really cool mineral that's a part of more than 200 different enzymes in the body. In fact, it functions in more enzymatic reactions than any other mineral that we need. Zinc is heavily involved in our immune system, so much so that if you have a zinc deficiency, you're more susceptible to infection. In fact, one study showed that zinc supplementation reduced the average duration of colds by about seven days. Zinc is also required for protein synthesis and cell growth. That's really important if you have a wound and you need it to heal quickly. Additionally, zinc plays a major role in maintaining your sight, taste, and smell. If you have low levels of zinc, you could develop night blindness and or loss of taste and smell. If these symptoms arise, let your doctor and or registered dietitian know. Now, how does zinc relate to ADHD in the brain? Well, research has shown that zinc was found to be significantly deficient in people with ADHD compared to those without. This zinc deficiency leads to the hyperactivity. So some studies believe that a zinc deficiency actually plays a role in the development of ADHD. This might be because zinc is needed to make melatonin, which regulates dopamine, one of the neurotransmitters that we talked about in our omega-3 series. Dopamine helps transmit messages to different parts of the brain. With impaired dopamine transmission, we get concentration impairment and jitters. Whoa, thanks for dropping all that knowledge on us, Krista. It sounds like zinc is a kitchen Same. full of benefits for our minds and our bodies. Now let's get back to these chickpeas. I've already taken them out of the oven and let them cool for about 10 minutes. So let's give them a taste. Mmm, delicious. I'm gonna eat this whole thing. 
So these are great just as a snack, but if you're craving some more zinc, which I know you are, you can use them instead of croutons on top of a chicken and spinach salad, which are two other good sources of zinc. I hope you enjoyed our video today, and we'll see you later in the next one.